And it's one of the most influential series in the history of television. Yeah, and now Simpsons showrunner Matt Selman and his lovely wife Renee Ridgely are using the iconic Fox show to raise awareness for a very important cause. They've been kind enough to join us here in studio. Good morning to you both. <laughs> Morning. You hear the music behind us now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Renee, you voice a Simpsons character named Dr. Wendy Sage. Um, this is very important stuff, and you can see that you, Renee is wearing pink today. Um, Dr. Sage <laughs> is a breast cancer survivor, yeah. and this is obviously uh, a comedy series, but also personal for you. It is. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2016, and um, wanted to become a patient advocate. And you know, where do you start as an advocate? You start local, and my <laughs> local is The Simpsons. Is your house. Is my house. <laughs> nice. I didn't have to go far. Nice. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I, I, I talked to Matt about, you know, The Simpsons has just, uh, represents American life mm -hmm. and American people and all its great diversity. And why don't we get a breast cancer patient on there? Love we can't, it. we don't mention cancer. You know? Well, it's, I'm so glad you mentioned that. I lost my mom to cancer at 59, and she was very private with her battle. Not a lot of people outside the family knew about it. You've taken your, um, your life experience and, and right behind you we can see it uh, in this artist's <laughs> rendering of your character. Yeah. What has that been like for you? Uh, I guess uh, um, th this, this uh, life-changing experience playing out on a show that so many people sit down at home and watch. Well, Sean, it's really amazing to see it ripple through the community. I mean, just, uh, just last week, a woman was watching, it's, it's from the episode Lisa's Belly, and then the new one coming up is... Um, the King of Nice, this Sunday on Fox. Right, and we get people reaching out to us on social media saying, I see myself mm. in that character. Mm -hmm. You know, about half of the women who have treatment with mastectomy go flat. And in the past, people tried to hide that. Yeah. And in modern day body positivity, they just embrace it. So this character really represents like, you know, she has one breast and she has, she's flat on the other side. Right. She has a port scar from her chemo mm -hmm. and she doesn't try to hide that either. Right. So it's, I love that people are seeing it out there and it's really- it's very um, courageous, love that. Yeah, it, it, it's great to open that conversation up and, um, you know, really address something. And I think people take in things that are serious uh, a lot of times through comedy. So, so that's a good thing. Um, when we're watching The Simpsons, we have to talk about this. <laughs> kind of gotten this reputation of being able to predict ah, the, the future. You knew we were going to ask about this. What's going on with that? Well, I just say, <laughs> study the past. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe the things that you say will ref be reflected by the future. So study the past, everyone. But uh, also, if you have 750 episodes of a TV show, Amazing. you're going to make a few crazy predictions. <laughs> but uh, stop putting those fake ones out, people. Mm -mm. Only the real predictions. Meanwhile, you guys call LA home, but you're here in Chicago <laughs> for a very special purpose this yes. weekend. Tell us about that. We are. It's, I'm really excited. We're here for um, the American Cancer Society Making Strides Walk. And I'm walking with a team called Stand Tall AFC. Aesthetic flat closure, which is going flat, and um, there's a long weekend retreat with flat retreat community. So it's a lot of women who've had treatment and are are living um, with less than two breasts proudly, happily, and so we're here for that. Yeah. Uh, what do they say about what you've been doing with the Simpsons? I mean, they are excited. Uh -huh. They, I mean, there's a hashtag I am Sage. People put it all over. You know, kind of like she reflects um, the journey of so many people, mm -hmm. and so there's been this huge embrace from not just people that have gone flat after yeah. mastectomy, but people all over um, saying, you know, this is wonderful to, to see myself there, to see mm -hmm. as represented. On a personal selfish note, Treehouse of Horror is an annual ritual for me. <laughs> yes. I, I, I binge it every October. Okay. Uh, can I expect another one? Two this year. Two! Two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I love it. a full length <laughs> one on the 23rd. Okay. And then the classic three stories on love the 30th, that. the day before actual ah, Halloween. Fantastic. So. This is our most spooky, scary. Love it. Not as scary as breast cancer, <laughs> but still, still spooky and scary. Uh, Treehouse of Horror, and yeah, so it's great October. Excellent. <laughs> spooky Simpsons, <laughs> fun and, and adventure. Renee, can you snap into character <laughs> for us real quick and just read um, right there? What's in front of us? Um, you can see, of course, <laughs> every Sunday, only on Fox 32. The Simpsons. Well, thank you both for coming. 
Thank you guys. Enjoy Thank the weekend here in Chicago. Andy. It's going to be chilly. Hope you brought jackets. It's great. We love it here. <laughs>